Dear Dina, okay, this is going to sound ridiculous, but it's become a big problem. Two months ago, I was at the grocery store and used self-checkout and accidentally missed scanning one item. It was not a big deal. It was a $4 box of cereal, but my son noticed it. But the little rat didn't say anything at the store. When we got home, he told my husband about it, and he said I stole the cereal. That's the first I knew of it, so I checked the receipt, and he was right. I felt like an idiot and told my son that it was no big deal, and I'd pay for it the next time I go back to the store. It's been two months, and I haven't been back yet, and he asks about it all the time. Then about two weeks ago, he stole some candy from another kid at school. He got caught and told the principal, it's no big deal, it's just a couple of bucks, I'll pay her back the next time I get some money. The principal called us in and confronted us in front of our son and told... Uh, he told the principal he learned it from me. Then he told me that I had a choice. I can go back to the store and do the right thing, or he will tell them what I did. The kid is eight, and he's parenting me. Now I don't know what to do. I could go back and pay now, but he's going to think it's only because I got ratted out. I want to I want to put him in his place and tell him that I'm the parent and he needs to show some respect. My wife says that will make it all worse. What do you think? Opportunity to model humility, truth, integrity, forgiveness, all good stuff. Look, you messed up. We mess up as parents. It's okay. And it's okay to admit that you messed up to your eight-year-old son. Good for your son calling you out. I mean, okay, he did it in a way that was not flattering, but it hurts sometimes when we've been rebuked, when we've been um, disciplined, so to speak. But count it as a good thing because it's an opportunity for then you to Go to your son and be like, hey, I messed up. I appreciate you having great character and calling me out. Let's make this right. Let's do it together. And go to the store with him and then say, but next time, I need you to show me some respect. I know that I didn't earn it in that moment, but I'm your I'm your parent. So that's just kind of how it goes. So, you know, next time we'll, we'll do this a little bit different. But I'm hoping that this will not be a next time for me because now I've learned something too. That's hmm. what I would do. Hmm. This is tough, really. This is a tough thing because um, I get, I, I just, I definitely think the child is being disrespectful and taking it too far. Um, you know, I think calling somebody out on something when it happens obviously makes a lot more sense. But then for the child to steal candy and say the same thing, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I Look, I appreciate what you're saying, and I, I do think, you know, hey, you got to try to use it as a lesson and a teaching uh, in that respect, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what I would do in that in that particular case. So. I want to add that I would also then, for old child, be mm. like, okay, so two wrongs don't make a right. right. What you did was also wrong, yeah. and as a consequence, and whatever that is, right. you, know, you decide. Yeah. But in any event, I hope that's helpful, you yeah. know, maybe just some ideas tossing around. Dear Dina, if you've got something that you're a little bit unsure how to handle, well, we've got suggestions. You can take them or leave them. Click on Dear Dina at Key103Radio.com.